And we're back with downhill skiing. Now, this is a very important jump here. Uh, we have not received word yet on who this is skiing, and he's off! He's off! Oh, this is, yes, this is the downhill slalom. And as you can see, he's, he's missed about the first four flagpoles, and that's going to cost about minus five in deduction in the point. That is, this is Mo. Mo with the Tommy USA. Mo. I am surprised. Mo is not looking good. This is not going to be a good score for Mo. Now, as you know, the objective here is not to hit the flagpole, and it looks like he's hitting every single one of them. He's hitting every single one. He must not have trained well for this event. He's totally unprepared. It's going to cost him, cost his team the gold. That that's terrible. You know, you, a guy trains for for years. For years. And the, and you hope to make it to the. Oh, Jim. I'm sorry. I, oh boy, that was lunch. And he's a, he's across the finish line, 27 seconds behind. 27 seconds behind. And that there is the Swedish. Swedish downhill skier. We don't know what his name is, but you can tell he was totally excited with that because that, he now has taken the lead. The crowd is happy nonetheless, and Mo does seem happy with his performance. I don't really know. Let's take a look at this. As you can see, he hit this ball with his left fibula. Hit this one with his knee. Totally uncoordinated. Hit this one with another knee. That one with his whole left abdominal region. That's going to cost him the hand. bronze there, Bob. I don't know what he's thinking. He's definitely in last place now. But I tell you, he has beautiful skis. Here we are in beautiful, as you can see. The combined men's alpine second run, the current standings. Norway is in the lead. the lead. As Here's we a take look. a look here, that's Kajetel Andre Amat from Norway. And He's getting ready to go downhill skiing. When we'll be back with CBS at Lillehammer. And we are back with Harold Strand Nilsson is the leading skier here in Norway. And there's sec uh, Laos Kajus there. And uh, here we go with an Oriental. Kajetel Andre Amad skiing for Norway. An obvious uh, illegal recruitment, and he's off. Now, he was second after his last run. He's going to be trying to make up some ground here and hopefully get the gold. Uh, right now, he's looking in fine form. He's got good form. Still, I don't know why these skiers are still hitting these poles. He's uh, hitting every single one, and that's going to cost him 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, he just lost the gold. Maybe a shot at the bronze. Well, you know, Jim, it, it does even out because of all the previous skiers, they've been hitting the poles too, so it's kind of, you know, it may not be that bad of a decision. Oh, and he missed a flag back there. That's definitely going to cost him a bronze. He's completely out of the standings now. All we can hope for is just a good finish. And, uh... Get it good finish? <laughs> oh, Jim, you... That <laughs> and across the finish line he is. Sa and a beautiful powder, and Norway goes nuts. And he is happy with himself. I don't know why he didn't win a medal. Looks like he may have hurt something. There's his cousin from Nor uh, somebody's, Switzerland. Somebody's lips look, lips look chapped. I'll tell you what, they could use a little Susie Chapstick out here, Jim. <laughs> it's a little it's a little chappy out here on the slopes. And there's Laos Kajus, leader after first slalom run. He's going to be trying to go ahead and get a good run here and finish first. And Jim, I notice he's yet another skier from Norway. And I won't hesitate to say that there could be some illegal happenings right here because every downhill skier so far that has scored any decent scores from Norway Obviously, there's some illegal, illegal practices going on here by the Olympic Committee. Obviously, so I was having a talk with, with a few of my, few of my uh, committee friends last night, and they were saying how Norway has, has definitely swept this, this event completely, and maybe there's some cheating going on, maybe some drugs and drinking. What do you think, Bob? Well, Jim, I believe you're right. I, see, once again, now here, Laos has not gotten the speed he would like to have had by this point he's 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 going at quite a slow speed i mean he's already at the three minute mark this is not going to be a good score he is hitting practically every single flagpole well, like like i said before it seems every skier has one of his hit he's hitting the poles and i don't think it's going to be a factor 
and he's finished a minute ahead. And let's see what, what that does for his standings. Once again, uh, he is happy with the score. No way. It's... And he has won. No. Laos uh, Kajus has won the gold. I can't believe that. Here at Lilyhammer. He was going. He must have picked up some speed on the last 10 meters there. You can see his teammates there, Vaughn and Vorn, thanking him for, for all the hard work they've, they've had to go through. The Norwegians are going absolutely nuts here. There's nothing but a sea of Norway flags in the audience. They have swept this event, and quite frankly, I am not happy about it. There's obviously been some bribing going on with the judges committee. And we haven't gotten official time on his score yet, but Laos Kajus has probably taken the gold here. And yes, that'll finish the yes, men's alpine. The As men's can... alpine combined, that'll finish it. Uh, Laos Kajus taking the gold. And the other two, obviously losers, taking second and third. Uh, let's get, let's go down to Tommy Moe, who's already speaking. We're having some audio problems. We, we can't hear, couldn't hear that uh, interview. We'll obviously get back to that later. Tommy Moe was, was obviously, now let's take a look here at medal sweeps by countries Most... that were, the Olympics were held in. As you can see in 64, Austria, women's downhill. Japan in 72 and Norway in 94. Earlier 94. today. Earlier today, Kyle Permusian finished like this. Totally. <laughs> That's so funny. Yes, that, indeed. That was a terrible finish. Hi, Mom, he says. I don't know why he's happy. Now, earlier, let's take a look at... A look at uh, Yvonne Kajus, as he as he sweeps around here. I believe this is the American Kyle Masusin. Well, whoever it is, it doesn't matter, because it was a terrible race. He's in every pole, and I'm absolutely disgusted with it. Well, I can see that the downhill skiers have now taken to wearing shin pads because they've begun hitting the poles so many times. You'd think they had become calloused by now. That would, t that would be a beating. And they have swept it here. Gold, Earlier silver, today. and bronze. 